Hi, I'm Lonnie Fravel. You know, now more than ever, families are drawing closer together. For the past few seasons, our camera crews traveled coast to coast to find out exactly what's important for families today. As a result, we've found that many of you have the same concerns. During this edition, we'll explore the answers to your questions and we'll explore different options to enhance the lives of your family. As families strive to live healthier lives, they are adding more fruit to their diets. Approximately 94% of American households eat strawberries. Sweet tasting and rich in vitamins, antioxidants, and fiber, they are an excellent choice. Strawberries have proven to have many benefits. Uh, their content of antioxidants such as anthocyanins and ellagic acid have proven to inhibit certain types of cancer growth. Uh, ellagic acid has even proven to help prevent certain birth defects. Strawberries are the only fruit with seeds on the outside. Each strawberry has approximately 200 seeds on it. Each one of those seeds has the potential to be a totally new variety. And that is how we develop the cultivars that we grow to this day, is through breeding program that we support with the University of Florida. The association's partnership with the IFAS University of Florida has resulted in the discovery of the new Florida varieties that we enjoy today. Ranking second in fresh strawberry production, the state of Florida is a major player in the production of strawberries. So much so that over 144 million pounds of strawberries are produced in the Sunshine State each year. Over a century ago, Plant City, Florida was named the Winter Strawberry Capital of the World. It is the location of several annual promotional events sponsored by the Florida Strawberry Growers Association, a nonprofit cooperative that operates as a trade association. The purpose of FSGA is to be the unified voice of the Florida strawberry industry. We represent all of our growers in the industry in a statewide and nationwide campaign to do whatever we can to make our industry more profitable. We provide membership and serve on committees uh, at the state and national level. And all of these things help to promote our Florida strawberry industry and make it more profitable for our growers. Since its inception in 1982, the association has made contributions to strawberry research in excess of $2.5 million. It represents over 8,000 acres of berry production in Florida, where fresh strawberries are available from November through April. The irrigation scheduling, because the fertilizer is going to move as far as the water can. Agritech, an educational seminar and trade show held in August each year, attracts over 250 growers and others involved in the production of Florida strawberries. The much-anticipated event provides a forum in which to address industry issues, to introduce new varieties of strawberries, and to catch up with old friends. Agritech is a platform that brings together the latest in technology and research to help provide our growers with the tools necessary to achieve a profitable season. From introducing the latest in technology to discussing alternatives to methyl bromide, much is covered in this two-day event. Most of the farms are family-owned, and everyone takes great pride in their work and the quality of the strawberries that they produce. We, as growers, work diligently every day to bring safe, nutritious, and wholesome food to the consumers. Florida Strawberry Growers Association has helped my family farm tremendously, providing new technology, research, and strawberry variety. The growers share a unified vision our family farm was uh, started over 30 years ago by my father-in-law and uh, me and my wife came on board in around 1989 and uh, we live right on the farm. Our two daughters are raised right on the farm and it's a way of life that I absolutely adore. The season begins in August when growers begin preparing the land for planting. Cover crops used in the summer to reduce weeds and add organic matter are tilled under adding nutrients to the soil. The field is then leveled and a bed is formed using a super bedder. Securing plastic film over the beds provides a barrier to pests and weed seed that might try to invade. Planting begins in October and lasts about a month. Since the early 90s, farmers voluntarily reduced water by using drip irrigation and recycled water. 
Growers set 18,000 to 22,000 plants per acre. Approximately 35 days after being set, the plants begin producing ripe fruit. By late December, production is well underway and can last as late as mid-April. The Florida Strawberry Growers Association uh, helps us with research and development of new plant cultivars that benefit all Florida growers, and as well as promotion and marketing uh, to most of the places where we sell our products. To learn more about strawberries from Florida and the Florida Strawberry Growers Association, please log on to www.flastrawberry.com.